So, this, my friends, is another doozy of a game that, shame on everybody for watching, that, for not playing this one. This is Ironclad Tactics by Zachtronics. Yes, the same Zachtronics who makes all those devious puzzle, pla uh, puzzle programming games. This is his take at a CCG steampunk revolutionary war experience. <sighs> or, I'm sorry, not revolutionary, a revolutionary civil war. And this is another case of Delva really putting everything into a game. Sadly, it did not work out. I think this may be his worst selling game. But, unlike Final Form, he definitely kept going. I know, this is such a turn for Zach. We played this. I did a one-on-one -on -one with Zach on stream many years ago, and he destroyed me at this game. He spent a day preparing his deck. I spent 10 minutes before the stream. But there is a lot to look at here. And yeah, they did release different DLCs. And they were trying to turn this into kind of like an eSport or a competitive based game, but the market was just not there. It also features co-op that you can play online with people as well. So the game comes with a different story. How do I... activate the DLC? I think we need to play a little bit more to do that. So this takes place again in the 1800s. Where they've discovered steam power technology to build giant killer robots. And everybody gets in on it. The Native Americans, the Germans, you name it. There it is. <laughs> okay, so the game is turn, it's pseudo turn base. As time keeps moving, we build units and then they will go on their own. Every time the play happens, you can see down there they're going to move forward. It's going to cross over, get the victory point. Mm -mm. I think we can all guess where this is going. And now we win cards. So we can build our own deck as time goes on.
documentation as part of being an engineer. I wonder if Zach threw that in there. <laughs> For a specific reason. Uh oh. Oh, thank you, Mojo. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, we have cards that work in different ways. So you can see, also, cards can be upgraded if you perform a specific condition. They have an AP cost. And then we can play these tactics cards to help them out. So he's gonna go four. I'm gonna play a tactic card and move him down here. Again, we keep getting action points as time goes on. I know. And now, I like the, the robots playing poker up there. So I know what you're all thinking right now. This looks like a very simple game. Nothing too complicated at all. But, uh, trust me, it, it's gonna get there. As soon as we get to the actual deck building in this game. That doesn't look good. <laughs> and now we go to war. I've heard good things about it, but I just never really thought about getting one. Alright, so this time, we're going to give our robots guns. Him right here, and we're gonna let him shoot this. And move him forward, and a lot of the strategy of the game is knowing where to set up units, and then keeping them there as bottlenecks or keeping the enemy busy while you move your other units around. It's nice our little friend here is giving us tutorials. Alright, Dragon. We should be still. We should either be on this one or onto game number three by the time we get back. Uh oh. He looks very serious. Getting into the bulk of the game, probably after a few more tutorials. Is this the first one? No. I 
I think so. The music sounds like uh, sounds like it's from Space Cat. That's a big cat. But yeah, Zack really like went again heavy into this game, and you can tell by the design. <laughs> but yeah, this is another one of those games that just like nobody took to this game, or just very few. All right, so now he's got to send our robots out and serve some food. Mm -hmm. There we go. And the campaign can be played in co-op as well. God, we have to play the robots. That would make some sense. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, I have no idea how well this game did, but I know it definitely did not perform to what Zack was hoping for. So then he went back to making really accessible games like TIS-100 and Shenzhen I.O. You know, games for everybody to play. Alright, now we're getting to the real nitty gritty. It's time for our actual first mission. So these are bonus challenges that will earn more cards, which can then play into our deck. But first, we need to make a deck. As you can see, the limits are 20 cards, and you can only have two factions max. Oh, and this is the... That was the instructional card, by the way. Alright. And again, for right now, we can't really do anything else. There's our deck. So let's get into our first mission. Mm -mm. Well, it looks like war has come. See, every conflict can be improved by having steam-powered robots. Mm -mm. So now we get to the actual challenge of the game. We need to get our units across. But while this guy is not going to be doing much. He's going to be trampled. Uh-oh. Alright, so we're going to set him up. We're going to let him move into our range. So we get the first fire, we should. Now they're gonna attack each other, and if we don't play a card, it will run out. I'm gonna play that for some field repair. So I can move him, or I leave him right there. We'll win this fight for sure. So I'm gonna 
roll one more second. There we go. We'll move him forward. And now I'm going to move him down. And so we're about to score five points, hopefully. There's that. You can't place another gun. It won't do anything, as you can see. Here. I'll watch. And I really there you go, perfect. Look at one of those. Put them right there. Uh -oh. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to protect. Oh wait, we can heal the statue. Never mind. Okay, let me move that around. And that statue is going bye bye. There's not much I can do about it with this deck. But that's all right. There, perfect. So I'm going to let him go, send him up there, and there is a objective that's showing up. So as soon as this guy gets here, we win. Come on. Fixing to go. If he puts a gun on this guy, I'm going to repair. I better repair him, though. All right, he's gonna blow up. There we go. Move him up. Yeah, I think we play Infinite Factor like once. Very complicated game. Alright, so we win this map. Get a bonus. As soon as he crosses over, the map is won. And so the challenge again is that we have to figure out what units to place where, and what units we want to take off the field to score points. So, while we did win, we didn't win that the best way. Uh-uh. And this kid just shows up and gives us exposition. Now we're going to war. <laughs> oh yeah, if we don't beat the game, which I doubt we will tonight, I need to play the uh, ending song because it's so damn catchy. Alright, so we won these. Because I trample the enemies, we win these. But because I did not uh, get the additional things. And then when we beat the game, we can lock two more cards. And so this one will eventually unlock. We now have puzzles and such we can play. 
Oh, and this was one of the more uh, controversial things they had. I think he had in the original version was that there were certain cards you could only win by playing skirmish maps. And I think that was taken out when he kind of saw the writing on the wall about how there just weren't enough people going into this. And Fin Factory, that's like a month of streaming. We ever want to try and figure that out. Alright, so now I can edit this deck. Let's take out a few of these. How do I... Oh, no, never mind. What am I doing? Let me just do this. So the Riflemen, they can attack enemies, but the downside is that if it's an ironclad, they can just walk right on top of them and kill them. We can also attach a cat to make our robots faster. I'm gonna drop one of those, do that. Does a cat on top of anything moves faster? It's just science, people. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. <laughs> like his face. It's war. So this is the other point, or the other element of the game. Can I pause? I'm going to pause this for a quick second here. So we put infantry units in those capture points, and they'll give us more action points, allowing us to field more stuff at once. All right, so we need to take that. I need an infantry unit, though. Now, these guys are not worth points, so it does not matter. These guys do. What's going on? Smush him. So the idea is these guys can snipe to some extent. Alright, so he's coming. One, two, three, four. You should be able to kill him in time. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Move him down here. Place you here. And we just want to try and stop him. Hmm. I'm ready. Come on, boy, for the north. Alright. We got him. We'll pause him. And these two should be able to kill that guy. Alright. Do a field repair on him. There's another robot down. So right now we're set to earn five more victory points. So if everybody crosses two, three, four, no, I'm sorry. Six. If everybody crosses the board here, we win. I didn't want him to crush him. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got this. We have full board control right now. Come on, team. 
And again, we'll unlock more cars when we complete these conditions. And just to be a... Oh, I could have been a jerk and ran over that guy. Uh oh. We'll move him down here. And we win. There's no way he's gonna stop this guy from getting across. And we got it. For the north. <laughs> Postmen in the 1900s or the 19th century are very aggressive, aren't they? And so again, our rewards. So we have a trumpet boost. Because I kill the heavy robots, we get this. And because I completed that challenge of killing enough enemies with a carbine, we unlock this. So the whole advantage, that's one more AP, but it gives us, as you can see, two more range. So we kind of snipe with that musket. And to show it all, this is puzzle mode. Where we must win using a specific deck. And he's got a Sherlock hack on there too. So the challenge here is we need to get this guy across. And no, 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 no. I play that in the wrong order. We want to do this. I'm ready. He goes forward. Of course, it is Zactronics game. You need to have a puzzle in there. All right. So every turn, he gets to ignore one point of damage. I liked I played a little bit of it, too. I think the only downside of these single-player maps is there's no way to fast-forward. Or none that I can remember off the top of my head. Alright, so... I think another thing that kind of annoyed some people was the fact that... There was no way to really uh, fast-forward playing this game, you have to unlock all the cards, or you can't really survive multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Gotta have time manipulation somewhere, right? Alright, so he's gonna go forward, he's bust, he's buffed, he dies, and now we just rush forward for victory. Run! Mm-hmm. Right. And again, the little infantry don't count when it comes to victory points. So now we've unlocked more cards. And again, I can keep editing my deck however I see fit. So if you want to get everything in this game, you got to get quite a bit of cards. I'm going to drop one of those, put this. But yeah, I can't think of any other game that has this kind of design off the top of my head. Right, any bonus challenges here? I'm going to be using mortars. Don't attack with ironclad weapons is a challenge. Well, let's do it. Oh, here's... I'm um, an idiot. This is the DLC right here. So we have the New Game Plus. You have the Rise of Dimitri. And they did this for balance reasons. 
because the DLC basically evolves the campaign. And then we have this, the you're participating in the Franco-Prussian War with the uh, ironclad robots instead. Alright, so the challenge is we can't equip weapons. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Crack a boom. Alright, so the twist here is that we can play mortars to gain victory points. Okay. Got it. He's gonna get crushed. There I don't think I can defend that. Eh, maybe I can. That's a big boy, uh, rifleman. Yahoo! Okay, got it. Uh oh. I'm not... Maybe I can crush him. No. Yeah, I mean, Zach Tronic, or Zach, he is a great guy when it comes to design. We've had him on several casts. He's kind of stopped doing podcasts, though. Alright, I'm gonna play a big guy here. Now we're gonna do this. With the cat on, I move double. I'll watch. There we go, we crushed him. Put a gun on him. Oh, I lost a challenge. Damn. No, different developer. Uh, we're gonna get the other challenge. Get eight points using. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Huh? Place him right there. And that's fine. We'll get a bonus for having that guy get killed. Uh oh. He's gonna kill him though, there's no way around that. I reckon. He's gonna get killed. And like I said, the challenges in this game are no joke. Space Cam has actually been adopted by several schools, I heard, so it did pretty well. Crush him. I've already failed the challenge, so it doesn't make sense worrying about it. Yeah, it makes my brain uh, start to overheat. Okay, Let's go and place him it. here so he can kill him. That robot gets blown up. Actually, I'm gonna place... I'm gonna pause... Oh, I didn't pause him in time. Pause him right here. He'll get crushed before anything else happens. Come on, I need some good cards. This is Yu-Gi-Oh all over again. What's going on? Alright, he's gonna get crushed, uh, but I don't think we're gonna win in time. This could be close. Alright, 
This could be very tricky. Let's see what happens. I think we got this, just barely. And the power of the cat saved me. could have adopted steampunk, right? It would have made things so much more cooler. <laughs> Feeling unsettling, that's good to know. the quotes. I guess they had air quotes back in 1860. We're going to start getting introduced. Oh, that's a really useful upgrade, too. It basically renders infantry almost worthless. We're going to be introduced to the other factions as well. I know. And now our Riflemen evolve into the Veteran Riflemen. And then we can kill four enemies with him, and he gets evolved as well. And we just travel across this great country with robots fighting other robots. What's Nemesis? Oh yes, that's right, this is what I was thinking about. So the Nemesis is a special mode, so it looks like he didn't take that out. Is that right? No, I guess he did. Nemesis is where you basically play a boss map, and one player is the boss. And yes, that's right, there are boss fights in this game. I'm gonna drop one of these. We only need all those guns, I think. The heavy rifleman. And let's see what happens. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe that that could have saved this game if they did a Futurama tie-in. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, not Futurama. It's Simpsons. <laughs> All right, time for a boss. <laughs> Don't take the sheet off. All right, so boss rules are different. He's going to send rockets at me. We need to destroy these things. can't run things over, right? Oh no! That poor Union soldier. Did you just laugh at me? So this is bad. I need a gun and I need a robot. Alright. I think he stops him. Or he's gonna blow up. Let's see. Okay, good. Right. 
Uh oh. I need a union. Hey. Nuts. He's about to score again. something here. Alright. So that's one machine down. So we need to destroy enough of these so we can start hurting him. And we move right here, we get blown up. So let's not. He's gonna shoot him again, isn't he? Oh. We are not doing well here. Oh my god, we are not drawing any weapons. That guy is about to get nuked. And yet you do have to kind of build these decks out. Yeah. This deck is not working for this fight. So you do have to build the decks for the engagement. So now we can unlock these guys. So they're cheaper, but they're still a little bit better than the normal ironclads. So I'm going to try and build a deck specifically for this fight. So we are going to need these guys. These, a few of those. I'm not going to need that. And uh, I'll take a few tactics, you never know. Oh, yeah, he built his entire deck up, you know, completely min maxing crazy optimization for <laughs> when we played. And he uh, destroyed me. Five two. Oh, armored means that they take one less. Um, armored means that they will resist one point of damage, just for free. So that's what makes these guys kind of powerful. So if you try and hit them with a one point hit, it should nullify it. Music sounding very ominous while I'm talking, isn't it? I'll take one of these. Alright, so this deck should counter the boss. And this is another thing that kind of thing hurt the game's appeal. Because again, a lot of people don't expect this kind of gameplay in a uh, strategy or a card game. Alright, so I should be able to... Come on. He's gonna get a freebie. I can't give the guy a cat, though. If he moves down, I'm gonna move him up. That doesn't help me at all. Oh wait, I'll use him as a counter.
And so the key for this, again, is we need to quickly get these things taken care of and then just start knocking them down. And you can repeat levels with higher quality decks. Something's not right. Oh, they moved the deck around. That's why. I was wondering why I was getting these cards I didn't put in that deck. Alright, that's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, like the people who picked this one up really enjoyed it. But. Not a lot of people picked it up. Alright, so this is gonna be a bit better. I'll move him down. Because if he hits him with that rocket, he's gonna die. If we move here... Pretty much accurate. Alright, so he should be able to take those hits. He's almost in position. He's gonna shoot that rocket. We're starting to get some headway here. Right, one more and that will counter him. Good. So now the top part of this map is basically locked down. Screwed up. Ooh. I think he's dead. But I need another revolver. Perfect. Almost all his repairs are done. He's gonna get killed. Him down here. That's gonna blow up. Here. Come on, move up. 
again, once this is done, we then will have freedom to just go at him. Right, now he's going to take a free hit. And yeah, for the story content, this is horrible. Or the story challenges, we're not winning this. But at this point, we've taken over. He's gonna shoot him. We're gonna get two. Yeah, we win. At this point, there's no way for him to stop us from hitting him next turn. Yeah, Zach makes some fiendish boss fights in all of his puzzle games. You normally don't say that about a puzzle game. Mm -mm. We have a rocket launcher. <laughs> and yeah, the only way we would win this without destroying those repair machines is to have higher quality cards. So, for a change of pace, I'm gonna load my other profile, and you guys can see where things really get complicated. So this is a new game plus. These are some of the bonus missions, which basically I had Zach carry me through these missions. But now when we go to the car unlocks, you're gonna see a lot more of them. Still a few of these. So now we got a lot of cards. So we have an armor, and a lot, some of these cards were introduced. These are the bandit cards. So these guys actually give us AP for making it through. This guy heals. We have shotgunners. <laughs> you get a lumberjack. <laughs> so this is our sniper. We have the Native American tribe. We have a legendary. This is the. Dimitri is the big bad of the game. So this is his specific deck. The French join in. <laughs> and yeah, there is just a lot of depth here. So this is a tank, or this is a uh, ironclad that blows up when he gets too close. This guy moves very fast. Again, these are more of the bandits. Mm -hmm. And you like uh, Dimitri's uh, deck here. His power is that he can have his uh, ironclads evolve. So you place this on it and he transforms. Or you get a visionary shell and then you place something on it and it evolves into these other forms. And these are some of the upgraded cards that you get later into the campaign. So this improves your damage by one. Enhanced Rifles. We have a Sniper. Look at this thing. <laughs> and yeah, just a lot of variety. Oh, and you can actually see the card over there. That'll make it easier for you guys, right? <laughs> so our bonus cards there. 
Here's Dimitri's uh, special. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a game that you can really dive into. So the original version of the game had multiplayer cards you had to unlock, but I think they changed that again due to the fact that not a lot of people were playing it. Is there a way to play the... Hmm. I remember I could. The beginning from the menu. No. Oh man. I don't think we have a deck that I can use to win. Because for me to actually beat the final mission right now will require some practice. Let's see. this and here comes Dimitri oh you can see he's reflecting the damage because the musket or because these guys have armor, so we need to hit him for two. Ow! That's just rude right there. He did not need to destroy him like that. That's just me. Alright, so he's gonna die. I just screwed up. Trying to reach chat and play it is not a good thing. dead. him there. Uh oh. His sword is bigger than my sword. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think we're gonna win this. And like I said, there is a lot of depth to this game, and I think it, again, this is a very hard sell. Hard sell for somebody if you're not already interested in this kind of game. Yeah, for those of you watching this, if you get the chance, Google the end theme. Or like the ending cutscene for this game, and it's just a great like a 1900 song that's just super catchy. But I think with that, we'll move on to our third game. Because again, we could sit here and play this whole game on stream and probably then some. Oop. What am I gonna find really fast? Because I can play through my speakers and let you guys listen to it. 
Give me one second. Ah, oh, here it is. For Ironclad, yes. You can buy the various the uh, campaigns themselves. Oh wait, I can actually just show the credits right here. Never mind. There we go. Perfect. You get banjo. But does it have a 19th uh, century folk song? <laughs> Exclamation Everyone needs a folk song written about them. Now I think about it, I should really include this game in my, uh, in my, uh, 20th Central Games book. This is another really good one. Eh, maybe I'll write another 20th Central Games. needs to mention giant killer robots. See, it was all worth all the CCG puzzle gameplay for that great song. And yet, so many people never heard that, which is such a shame. But yeah, if there is a lot of interest from people watching this live recorded, I wouldn't mind going through this game again, because the last time I played this was, like, I think, like, the month it came out, and that was about it. So it would pretty much be, like, me relearning this title again. But yeah, I would have loved for this game to have done a lot better. The same goes for Jamestown. Which, for those of you watching this record, was the previous game we played on the stream. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. This and Jamestown aren't games made for just pure, you know, marketing <laughs> AAA. Yeah, and Zach said he's not doing any more podcasts anymore too. I need to get him I need to get, convince him to come back on for a stream. But yeah. Definitely a great game. Again, this is not a game for everybody. But if anything that I showed you, like, piqued your interest, you're going to probably enjoy Ironclad Tactics. 
with the DLC as well. Let me see. I just want to look really quickly. I think he may have made the DLC free. Did he do that? Jeez, 2013 as well. Just like with uh, Jamestown. Oh god, I'm the only creator who played it too. <laughs> Is that right? Am I really the only guy? Yeah, I think he made all the DLC free. Because, again, nobody was buying... Oh, he made it free because nobody else was doing it. Oh, it comes with the uh, the soundtrack, too. Jeez. And printable paper craft model of an ironclad. Oh, Farewell to the Woods. That's the actual name of the band that played it. Oh, my God. Someone left a negative review saying it's like Plants vs. Zombies with an annoying random element added and a counterintuitive strategy. Oh, that hurts me, reading that. Mm. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, considering, again, that the game almost uh, wrecked uh, Zach Tronics, I don't think we're ever going to see an Ironclad Tactics 2. Ugh, man, that hurts. That and Hinterland just really hurts when we don't get sequels to, like, really great concepts. But, enough about me ranting here on stream. It says he actually played for seven hours, too. Why don't it took me to beat the campaign? <laughs> oh, I was right. There are cards tied to the multiplayer. Oh, no. I don't think we'll ever be able to get those cards. And considering I have to win each time, I don't think I'm ever going to get those cards doubly. Oh, I think the one time I played Skirmish was with Zack. <laughs> Let me call Zack right now and tell him to hop on. Line and challenge, and let me win. What is that? Uh, 24? Yeah, let me win 24 matches in a row against them really fast so I can psych at all the cards in Ironclad Tactics. Alright, this is starting to get a little depressing though, so let's move on to our third and final game.